Hi, I'm Dr. Sandra Khan. Today I'm going to introduce you to our newest device, the LipLock Vacuum Activator. I love this device because of its simplicity and how it works long term. Before we start using our LipLock Activator, we recommend using one of our activators that have a funnel and membrane or the Bluetooth activator because we need to learn to calibrate the right pressure in our mouth for optimal rest. When we swallow, we create about 100 millibars of negative pressure. That's a lot of pressure. You can try it right now if you swallow. And after the swallow, we teach ourselves how to hold as little pressure as possible but still maintaining a very light suction. And that will be about minus 10 to 15 millibars of pressure, negative pressure. This is a trainer and it helps you train yourself to hold as little pressure as possible, still maintaining the suction. Once you've trained yourself, you can use the lip lock as a long-term device. I've cut my own funnel forward ionic vacuum activator to fit myself and I've cut it in the back. Very important to relieve the exit of the salivary gland so that saliva can drain naturally into the roof of the mouth without getting stuck in the appliance. When I first trained with my um, appliance, I had to take out saliva every couple minutes. And I've been training myself to hold less pressure, less suction, and we want to be able to hold that position with the minimum pressure possible, but still keeping the tongue in the right place involuntarily. So we use this to let us know what's going on to get some information. Our Bluetooth vacuum activator will tell you exactly what's going on, how many hours you're wearing it, and how much pressure you're holding and how is it bearing. These activators are very good for training. Once you've trained yourself, or you just want to start training with the lip lock, we have several different shapes and we have several different thicknesses and flexibilities. This one is thicker and this one is thinner. I like the thin ones. They're easier for me to use. Um, and this is my favorite shape because this can be trimmed to fit anyone. How do you trim it? Just to be comfortable, small and comfortable. It doesn't have to be symmetric but we recommend trimming out the area for the frenum here so it doesn't hurt you and making sure that the place where the saliva exits here is relieved out of the appliance so saliva can naturally drain into the roof of the mouth. The theory behind this appliance is that it's hard to hold that pressure because air filters in between the teeth it's not, the dentition is not a solid barrier for the pressure, the suction. So this helps you hold that suction comfortably all night. Be careful with children. Make sure it's not too small and that the appliance is not moving around. So they need to understand how it's worn. And um, we'll show you some activities to do with children. But if you're gonna sleep with it, then um, you need to be good at having held that pressure so that you can do it all night. And I certainly do. I wear this one right here all night. This is extremely comfortable and extremely useful. Very simple, but it's a powerful, powerful tool to help you rest better, sleep better, and hold that negative pressure, which is the ideal resting position to recharge every cell in your body with a free, free airway. If your nose works and your palate has no room for your tongue, a lip activator, a lip block is the ideal tool to have around. Our kids will have um, several vacuum activators and several lip activators. 
for you guys to test out, to use um, and have in different places in your house or different houses or to give out to friends or family. The sleep activators are a fantastic addition to our toolbox in Forwardonics. We do have the lip activators come with a flexible tube, six inches long. And this tube helps. We make some holes in the appliance where you can thread it in. And this is very helpful for children to practice with, with their parent or their tutor that is monitoring them to make sure they learn how to generate the pressure and they do it during the waking hours. Don't give this to a child at night. Uh, this can be used at night by an adult, but I rather not recommend it for children at night. The children can wear the lip lock appliance, play around and figure out if they hold it properly through the suction. If a child wears it and tries to hold it by piercing the lips and they pull from the little uh, bands, the appliance will easily come out because the lips cannot generate enough force to keep it in the mouth. So the kids can learn to hold the negative pressure with their tongue by playing around with the cords. And we sometimes do um, contests between different children and we'll give you some recommendations on our website of things that you can do with the kids. But I'll put it on and I'll show you first holding it with just my lips and then I will hold it with negative pressure so you see the difference. It's very hard for the lips to hold the appliance in. If, uh, if you have several kids do it, they can teach each other when they figure out how to hold it through that suction. I'll put it back on and I'll use the band to position it in the right place. It's very useful in that way. Um, we don't want anybody to be choking on this. And we will pull on the straps, but hold it this time with negative pressure. Again, this is a training appliance for children. You don't want them to use it long-term, but it helps them figure out if they're doing it right or not. Children can use this too. And the ideal for kids is to use the Bluetooth device so you know exactly if they're wearing it, how long, and you can just give it to them and the appliance will measure everything you need to know. And they will be able to calibrate the right pressure so when they go to sleep it'll just happen naturally but for adults and for training for kids these are useful for adults this can be a fantastic appliance to sleep with all night um, i have one here that i've trimmed and i wanted to show it because it's not symmetric and it doesn't need to be it just needs to be um, covering the teeth and it needs to make sure that it's not bothering you in any way this is a flexible one. Again, this is the one I like, and this is the one I've been using. This holds the pressure for me without um, any effort. I use it when I'm driving. I have a couple in my night table. I have a couple in my car. These are very useful and um, I hope you can use them, try them out, and order some of our kits that have multiple vacuum activators, multiple lip locks, and some extra parts because sometimes they are parts that um, get lost easily. So you get multiple replacement parts so that you can continue to use your training device as much as possible. We recommend about an hour a day of negative pressure. And uh, when you're ready, just use a lip lock. I do believe this is a powerful, powerful tool that will change the status quo in a lot of the health um, ailments that we see 
in modern society. So the addition of our fantastic lip lock and the two vacuum activators, I will show you in a different video how the Bluetooth vacuum activator works, but we are bringing these appliances out to you guys because we believe that the holding of the tongue very lightly away from the airway is useful for anybody. Somebody that's suffering from snoring or sleep apnea or any ailment like that, or just anyone that wants to optimize the oxygen input when they sleep, when they do sports, or when they're trying to recuperate and get their oxygen level under control. So these are fantastic appliances for you and for your children. Try them out and please let us know what you think about them. We will also keep you posted because we have a fantastic four sensor activator coming in that will change healthcare in a very significant way. So please subscribe to our Forward Onyx Club for more videos and share knowledge with us and with your community. Thank you.